On March 21, 2022, at approximately 2.05 p.m., an officer with the Fort Lauderdale Police Department responded to a disturbance at a doctor's office. While en route, dispatch radioed in with a disturbing development. Mm -hmm. The suspect threatened to shoot the place up if a doctor did not see him. Hey man, you all right? What happened? Nothing happened? You weren't yelling and screaming inside? Oh, no, they're inside. They're inside. Okay. You're saying there's a guy inside? Yeah. yeah. They said he's dressed exactly like you. No, not him. He's inside. Okay, I hope you're not lying, man, because I'll come back out. Okay, well, it doesn't mean he can't say all that. He wants to see the doctor. You can't be seen without a appointment. You're trying to leave. You have a regular kettle closed down. Everything is about appointment here. He refused to leave. He made all these. As you watch the events unfold, keep in mind all the suspect needed to do was leave. Check this out. I ain't got shit on me, but don't be walking up on me. You're saying you're gonna shoot the place up. So I'm I ain't saying shit like that. Come on, let you know. Put, if your, you put hands your hands on me, man. This I ain't Listen, doing shit. I ain't have, saying shit by shooting none of If you put your hands on me, I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. Listen. Do you have any guns on you? What do you do? Don't blade your body. Don't blade your head on me, man. Grab me for man. While the first officer kept eyes on the suspect and waited for backup, a dozen officers began flooding the scene. Hey, up here, up here, Michelle! Stairs to your right! Keep your feet out. 
Keep your feet up. I'm gonna break your fing knee. Okay. Stop it. Do you have a hard time understanding what we're telling you? Yeah, what is your problem? Hey, hey, let's me up. Are you sure he's in my face? Hey, relax. Hey, over left, man. Hey, over left. Hey, over left. Alright, guys. Hey, I hit my arm. Let me hit my arm. Let me hit my arm. I got it. Stop pulling. Right. He's alive. He's alive. Got that pocket. Watch yeah, this. Right. Yeah, best I could. Watch this. Watch this. Right. Oh, we gotta check him better for John. I ain't got no damn gun. Yeah, why you trying to shoot up the place? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sure I replaced it. I ain't got no gun. Come on, you. A pad search revealed a small tool tucked in the suspect's sock resembling a screwdriver. Later, it would be discovered that the suspect is a convicted felon and is prohibited from carrying weapons. Yeah, that in the pocket? Yeah, that's that's in the pocket. Hold on, Dad. Hold on, Dad. Ain't no weapon. Ain't no weapon. Let's go. Let's go. Ain't no weapon. Let's go. 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 let us one officer intervened and wisely urged the officers carrying the suspect to use the elevator. See how you rubbed me up now? I'm not even doing shit. I'm trying to find my pump, man. I got it in my hand. I open it up. Open it up. I can't breathe, man. Shut the up. I cannot breathe. We got an ambulance ready for you outside. See that? I got it in my Put hand. It, wait, let me get some air! Hey. Stop screaming. They're going to give it to you in the ambulance. Okay. 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Is this his? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You seen that far? Sit down. Yes, All the way down. I am. I'm trying. Yeah, I got my arm. Oh, you going to let me sit down? You got my arm. Put your foot down. Hey, 50 cuffs. Hey, 50 cuffs. Hey, 50 cuffs. Wait. Can you see that far? Yeah. Yeah. See that? Yeah, okay. Cross your ankles. You want me to fix your cuffs? Cross your ankles. Thank you. Cross hey. your ankles. Hey. 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 Boy, this year. This year. Cross your ankles if you want the cuffs fixed. Cross them. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Now let's do this. Now fix this. See how I'm bleeding, right? Hey, I said good job. Now let's do this. As men. As men. You take out that bag. If I beat his ass, y'all let me go. If I beat it there, y'all let me go. What happened to your head when you punched me the first time? What you mean? What I punched you, didn't I? I ain't punched you just now. I was on the floor. You punched me on the floor. What you mean? You punched me when I wasn't even doing shit. I'm trying to put my hand behind my back. You punched me. You talking about I'm fighting you, nigga. I went with no fight. At no point were you trying to put your hands behind your back. Man, so you gonna sit there, lie? As the first officer on the scene verbally engages with the suspect, another officer signals to his partner to knock it off and gets his agitated peer to leave the area. I was right there. Bro, so I was trying to fight him back? Yes. Give me that you a man? Are you supposed to be a man? I am a man. So how the f*** you lying? How the f*** am I going to fight two different men? How am I going to fight two different men? Not very well. Come on, man. Come on, brother. You brother, man. You know what I'm saying? I went fight. Bro, listen. If I fight him, you think he'll whoop me one-on-one? 
You think he'll whoop me one on one? Honestly? You honestly think he'll whoop me one on one? Nobody want to fight him. I want to fuck with this man. Did this man? I, I guarantee you, y'all let me go right now. And knock him out. I knock him out right now. I knock him out right now. With the with the bus out. Whoever bus, I knock him out. Come on, man. I got to see him. Just let, look at me like this here. Hey, boss. Give me a favor. Sit up. Stand up. Stand up. You need help. I need help. All right, man. After grappling with the suspect, officers called for an emergency response for an ambulance. In their reporting, officers used force because they were concerned about the prospect of the suspect being armed with a handgun and firing the weapon inside a medical facility with patients and staff present. Ultimately, the suspect did not have a handgun, despite his reported threats to the contrary. Hey, dog, got their day, boy. Hey, you need the blanket or not? You guys turn the blanket Hey, dog, got their day. Frederick, you want to ride? Square. There's three of you in there. All right. No, man. You got to put a mask on, man. I got to put shit on. I need to breathe. Chinese virus. You put shit on, man. Oh, my bad. All right. They won't let you into the hospital unless you got a mask I'm not, man. I need to breathe right now, man. You talking about, I'm not trying to let that shit, man. That's an impeachment breathing. Man, I'm going to bust me up, too. Do the blanket, dude. I'm going to lie to you, man. Hey, I promise you, this is the last time. Last time. Watch this. You put the side Y'all done did this shit. Y'all done kidnapped me twice. With a false lie. Twice with a false lie. Ain't no fing gun on me. With a false lie. This is the second time. Now, but y'all supposed to be the law. But y'all supposed to be the law, right? Second time. Hey. Hey. Hey, check it out. I'm gonna catch you when you ain't got your suit on. No, I'm gonna beat your ass. I don't give a fing. What? 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 A false lie? A false lie by the gun? You ain't got no gun on me. But when I catch you, I'm gonna beat your ass. Hey, Scott. Remember that. Alright. Yo, you gonna bust me up too? Court records indicate that the suspect faced multiple charges, but eventually pled not guilty to resisting an officer with violence and two counts of disorderly conduct. All other charges were dropped when he later changed his plea to solo contendere, whereby he accepted conviction but did not admit guilt. The suspect is currently facing third-degree felony aggravated assault charges for a separate unrelated incident. Given his lengthy criminal history and his likelihood to act out, we'll have more on this suspect in the future. He wants to see the doctor. He can't be seen without a point. Okay, Ultimately, the suspect was successful in his goal of being seen by a doctor at the emergency room. A researcher actually studied all the different variations of the F-word that police officers use. And there's good research showing that profanity, when used by police, has significant negative influence on perceptions. New research by Ian T. Adams shows that even when the same amount of force is used, the same amount of force, the public perceives the use of force to be less justified when it's accompanied by profanity. Conversely, the police and public generally think that profanity is okay when it's self-directed. Like if a police officer says, oh, I am such an effing idiot, that's okay. And when profanity is intended to be positive, like telling someone they are a freaking awesome witness, that's okay too. So is it okay to swear as a police officer? Like so much in life, it depends on the context. But probably try not to call a suspect a mother effer. Both the public and your fellow officers are much more likely to think that your use of force was excessive and personal.